The latest rumors are that the Arizona Cardinals are open to trading the number three pick. And a lot of Eagles fans are assuming that Howie may have made a call. But I think that this may mean something even better for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's talk about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on, you guys? This is your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast. So today, I want to talk about what this, what Arizona Cardinals trading that number three pick could mean for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I don't necessarily think that we would trade up that high, but I think that it could affect our draft. Now, before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're on the road to 10K. Appreciate everybody that has already joined the family. But let's get right into it, man. So, the, like I said. The Arizona Cardinals are open to trading that number three pick. We'll see if that ends up happening. They sit in a pretty weird situation because obviously they can sit there and take the best player. I'm not sure how they feel about Kyler Murray. Uh, obviously, they want to get more picks and make that team a little bit better, probably get a little bit younger. We'll see what happens. I mean, Arizona Cardinals, they, they do Arizona Cardinal type things. Uh, we'll see what that all means. But I'm not of the mindset like a lot of other Eagles fans are that we would ever trade up that high. I'm not saying a lot of Eagles fans, but I've I've seen this a lot. I've heard a lot of people ask me, and I just don't think that's what the Eagles would do. But I do think it would affect our draft. Now, if somebody's to move up to number three, obviously they could pick a guy like Will Anderson if he's still on the board. They could pick a Jalen Carter. They can pick a Tyree, Will, uh, Peter Skoronsky, whoever they want to pick. But most likely, if you're going to make a move up to that spot, depending on where you're coming from, you're going to grab a quarterback. So that might mean that for the Philadelphia Eagles, something drops to number 10. Maybe it's a Jalen Carter. Maybe it's a Will Anderson. I don't think a Will Anderson, but maybe it's a guy like that or Tyree Wilson drops to a number 10. Or, or there's so many now more possibilities if four quarterbacks go in that first top five, right? And we've talked about this. We've talked about this early in the offseason that if the Eagles were to get value out of this trade, it was going to come because of the, the surge of you know uh, quarterbacks that were going to go in that top five so I don't think that it's necessarily going to affect us in the sense of you know we're going to be able to go up to number three we're going to be able to go up to you know and, and grab whoever we want at three I don't think that but I do think that it makes it a little bit more malleable that at number eight maybe number nine maybe number you know seven somewhere in that range where you say all right listen you guys wanted a quarterback that he's not there if you wanted a wide receiver you can wait you can wait on offensive like there's going to be some type of you know conversation that can be had at number eight number nine number seven like i said so you can call them and be like listen we'll give you our number 30 or we'll give you our number 10 we'll give you a, a third next year we'll give you a third this year something like that and you can still hold on to that 30 presumably like there's ways that you can move around it if you're moving up one or two spots and, and that's my biggest thing my biggest thing is if you fall into a situation where you see the first four picks or five, four of the first five picks are all quarterbacks, you as a GM, Howie Roseman, I feel should be calling and saying, how can I get Will Anderson? Maybe I can move to six, seven. I think six is like maybe pushing it a little bit, but seven, eight. I could see that. I could see seven, eight, maybe nine if you feel like they might take them and you give them a little something just to kind of fall back. Um, but I mean... There's so much, there's a world of possibilities that open if the quarterbacks go like they're saying that it's going to go. And, and we'll see what happens. Now, looking at the trade back scenarios, because I think that that's probably the second best option. I think that staying at number 10 while it seems cool and you know you get a blue uh, blue chip guy i really don't think that there's going to be a blue chip guy at that point but either way if you're sitting at 10 you might find yourself in a good position to say let me move back four or five spots it, it, it works out for you so many different ways whether a, a, the quarterbacks go four out of the first five like i said or only three of them go and somebody really likes an Anthony Richardson, somebody likes a, a Will Levi's, we can then move back and probably get more capital. But I think that as it stands, if those quarterbacks are to go like they're planning to go, like they're saying they're going to go, I, I don't see why not. Why why can't we get a great quarterback? I mean, a great, uh, a great defensive player, great defensive lineman, great, great cornerback, uh, a great safety. Like there's so many different players in this draft that could definitely fall to us at 10. So it, it gets a little bit more exciting when you start looking at this draft class because now you're thinking what are we going to do the, the, the possibility to move up is there the possibility to move back is there we've talked about you know possibility of just sitting at 10 picking but it, there's so much you can 
can do in this draft. There's so many places you can move in this draft. And I, I'm just excited. So I wanted to kind of give my opinion on that. I didn't want to make like a long video. Tonight we will be doing a call-in video, uh, call-in show, excuse me, on Jan. So definitely come join that. That'll be tonight at 7. But I just wanted to get my thoughts out on this and uh, see what you guys felt. Because... They, I'm excited as an Eagles fan, as a guy that's, you know, going to be able to cover the draft. I'm excited all around because there's going to be so much movement, I feel like, when it comes to draft day. So, again, you guys let me know what you're thinking in the comments. But other than that, y'all know what it is. It's Fly Eagles Fly. We are out here. Peace. Thanks for tuning in.